Good afternoon, welcome back. We got something slightly bit different today um, for an arable farm that is. We're gonna be going through herbal lathes. So we've got three fields here. Um, it's now in mid-November. That has gone from grassland basically into a herbal lay with a view to potentially go into, um, uh, what's the option? Uh, the grass rich blocks, I think it's IPM2, CIPM2 in the SFI. Um, and basically I'll take you through the process of how we established room from hay to sheep to disking to drilling and yeah, see how we got on. Enjoy. So these are the three fields. This one I'm in now, that one the other side of the fence, and then the third fence all the way over there. These are the three fields going into the herbal lay. This is a kind of grass growth we're at now at the start of May. So I've got plenty of seeds ready left for over sowing the herbal lay. In these three down here, got a mix. Um, that's an actual herbal lay mix, an over seeding mix. So no grasses in there and kind of designed for hay. Uh, so no chicory and lucerne, but a bit more clover um in here this is an ab8 leftover ab8 mix which is only a tiny bit of grass but um some flower seeds as well some clover that we've had that was going to go in those three pastures for years uh, you see there two mixed bags of clover and then we have from Boston Seeds, traditional meadow wildflower seeds, and some chalk and limestone wildflower seeds. So we'll mix all of this together with the idea of it will go into herbal lay and then hopefully potentially an AB8 type mix in the future. Good morning, we are out tractoring away. It is Saturday currently, and this was cut on Thursday. Uh, contract came in on Thursday. Uh, we didn't ted any yesterday because there was a little bit of rain last night. We only had one mill in the end, but it was enough not to bother. Quite annoying because it's quite a good haymaking day yesterday, sunny and windy, uh, but we carry on. So we've got three fields here that are going into herbal lay, three fields that are in the flower rich plots, and then two fields that are in permanent grassland. So a bit to get through, but it's all good. It's gonna be doing a thousand idiot bricks, so those small bales, and then all the rest will be in large hestons. So this is one of the fields going into herbal lay. Um, we didn't spray it to suppress the grass at all, um, just gonna have to make do with cultivations and sheep, I reckon. So we're doing three rows at a time. You see, it's a little bit bumpy, so we're not going too fast. About six k in this one can go a bit faster in the others. But just drying out the rows. Six meter coon tedder. So we've got our own tedder and rake, and then small baler. Uh, but we get a contractor in for big baler and the mowing. Hazel tedded now. This is a day later on Sunday. Probably not going to do any more tedding today. But tomorrow looks 26 degrees, so Monday. And then Tuesday looks 26 degrees, so probably ted one day tomorrow. And then bale on Tuesday is the plan. Hay baled in these two. 
So now we've got to work out a way of establishing a herbal lay into this. Quite a thick sward, a lot of thatch. After a while, get some sheep in. Hopefully they can eat the rest of all these corners and stuff. Loosen it up with some discs and then, I don't know, go from there. Kind of making it up as we go along. Still, you still got some bales to pick up out there. Just loading up bales here now. Got sheep coming in now. So we've got 40 head of ewes just coming now, just been shorn, probably be here till around September. Got another 40 coming in, it's over 11 hectares on these grass fields, so we're going to get them to eat as much as they can in here, see how long that takes them. Um, and then we'll start doing a little bit of disking and harrowing, drilling, rolling, making up as we go along basically just off to shut these gates here but what we're trying to do is just get rid of all this thatch as you can see no no sign of any soil can just about get there now but no seed is going to want to germinate very easily there so when we come to drill it it'll be tough for a seed to go so we want to open it up a little bit so that'll be with the discs and the harrow and I don't know see what happens Right, time for a bit of experimentation. Got a set of light discs in the field. Got the sheep still in here. You can see they've eaten off a lot of the grass compared to the field behind. So gonna see if I can open up the thatch a little bit. Right, so I've had a bit of a play. As you can see, it's definitely not the tool for the job. Um, it's digging in quite a lot when there's lumps and bumps like there is in this field. Um, See, that is disturbing too much. <clears throat> but then in between, yeah, it's okay. There's a little bit of dirt, but then there's like nothing. And like here, there's a bit of dirt, but then nothing here. So it's definitely not the tool for the job. A harrow or chain harrow would have been a lot better, but you've got to make do with what you've got. So. I'm going to try it a little bit deeper. If it starts bringing up big chunks, then I will give up. Right, we've just finished up. And you know what? It's actually come out a bit better than I thought. Once you've been through it a couple of times, it does start to open up a bit. You can see it's obviously taken more out of where there's lumps and bumps. I suppose it means, it means that I'll level the field a little bit. Um, but like here, it's taken quite a lot. There's a lot of soil cover, but next to the tank not a lot uh, but most of it's gone through like this so we'll see I reckon drill it now and see what happens just gonna do some calibrating we've got all the different seed bits and pieces mixed together um, eight and a half kilograms a hectare in total we've got enough for 13 so hopefully I have a bit of overlap we can broadcast on top um, hopefully some grass will regrow and it'll be good ready for drilling so we'll get them on to the next one now Last bit of green hay done with all the yellow rattle seed and red clover hay. Yeah, not fun. Yeah, maybe green hay is not the one. Oh, dripping. Just gonna start the herbal layer in a sec, but I just thought I'd come out here. It's been about a week since we've done anything. And the grass is already coming back, even where it's been fairly scratched up, so. Won't be an issue at all in here. Just started drilling to see the slots. There is one tiny little clover seed there. But yeah, pretty much just putting it on top. 
using the drill as the metering unit, just lightly, lightly in. Just having fun tickling along. Metering unit's not like in the lower amount of seeds, so who's going about three and a half K. But we're getting there, luckily it's only a little bit to do. Got that other field up there, next to do. And then where the sheep are in at the moment, much larger field, so probably not at least for another three weeks yet. Just having a look now in the herbal lay field. It's been about 10 days, perhaps a couple of weeks um, since drilling. Grass is growing back a little bit, as you can see. Um, in fact, I think it's been more like two or three weeks, but there are some, some rows appearing. See, this looks like some sort of a plantain. That looks like a salad burnet. Uh, but there are some grasses and clovers coming up. Um, field next door is just about ready for the sheep to come out. That's the last one and then we'll go again. Just moving the sheep out of the paddock now. I'm going to spray off the thistles and nettles shortly and then get it drilled. Out of that paddock now. Trying to get a bit of soil seed contact running through it with the discs. You can see in the light spots, still not touching anything, but anywhere where there's a lump brings up a good bit of dirt. Just on with rolling now. Doing a good job currently, nice and slow. Here's the drill, so I can't go past where the drill's going yet. I think I'm going to catch them up fairly quick. This is now the finished product with that um, herbal lay camera makes it look a lot more dead than it is but this grass has just been grazed down very very tight and then the discs as well um, probably killed a little bit of it off um, but that's been drilled and rolled now so um, wait for the rain hopefully 8th of September now on Herbal Layfield just having a look at how all the different pieces are coming up that looks like a parsley to me and a salad burnet some plantains there's obviously lots of other bits and pieces in here that i don't know what they are a few clovers but there's lots poking through actually which is good lots of new grass is coming through grass has obviously regrown quite well um some of these plantains are actually flying through it's quite a big size that one um and there's even some stuff coming through the kind of thick grass you can see a clover down down there and all in there so it's coming well i think can't see the other field but that one's a little bit slower obviously because it was later but um quite happy so far so hopefully should be good we are into october now just having a look at some of the uh, herbal lay in these bare patches, there is loads of little grasses coming through, but they are seriously slow. Um, big old dandelion, a few thistles, as you can see across the field, just from the disturbance. But we have got all the bits and pieces of plant growing. The plantain is doing really well, as you can see there. It's a parsley looking plant. Some wild carrot there, salad burnet. So there are bits and pieces here, a lot more thistles than I'd like. A couple of fat hens, groundsel there, fat hen. Um, I would rather graze this in the spring down quite tight than top it, but I don't know. Um, yeah, still a few bare patches. I have to just go over with a little bit of grass seed. But, I mean, it is coming. So I think trying to apply kind of more arable farmer principles to a grassland shows 
doesn't quite work. The set of discs isn't really the tool that should have been used. Um, definitely a grass harrow would have been better just to open up that swath. But I mean, you use what you've got, don't you? So uh, live and learn. I'll probably try an, a bit more next year. Uh, we'll see what happens. So now we are back to that present time in November. So just to show you how it's all got on, those bare patches, they are still a little bit bare as you can see, but the grass is really coming through now. Um, a little bit bare in those bits, but yeah, it's filling up slowly. One thing of note I did find interesting is I'm getting weeds like groundsel there, crane's bill, and I did just see a cleaver cleavers there which are generally arable weeds and i think because of the discs they seem to like it so if you've got weeds in the field you know why it is so anyway thank you for watching that i reckon uh management going forward gonna graze this over the winter probably in line with grazing some cover crops and probably some cereals uh we'll graze these depending on weed burden i don't think any of the thistles are going to seed um before they get frosted off but we'll see hopefully it won't have to be topped in the spring but maybe we will maybe we won't i don't know but um yeah anyway hope you've enjoyed and cheers make sure to like and subscribe all that good stuff thank you